Yo, it's a Stupidly Small Podcast, Thursday, 30th of July, 2015. I'm Stuart. Hello, Lauren. Uh, Hello, Hello, Lauren. (laughs) How are you? I'm good. What a special day to be alive. Payday, dead right. Mm. Let's get that 300 and hit the button. It's the day on which a lot of people were born in this world, weren't they? Uh, you know, I should uh, do it on this day, see who was. But no, uh, it was and is, and I'm sure every day is a day someone was born. Yeah, it is. But this one just feels, it's got a little bit of a spring in its step. You have already this morning been, um, we've celebrated. I know we're not allowed to talk about the fact that it's your birthday, but we've celebrated <laughs> already this morning. And uh, I have something to break to you. So I, I you know. I, I, You're we, not my father. No, Exactly. How's, what it, are how's you? it going down for you? Um, no, um, this morning you had, and I have a photograph of it, uh, a very funny looking, uh, what was it? Portuguese tart. Yes, Portuguese tart. Which we bought you as yes. a little happy birthday. Anyway, and guess what? Yes. It was artisanal and it came from a farmer's market. Yeah. Ah, right zinger. Yeah, got gotcha. me. Yeah, that was sweet. And I feel guilty because uh, my housemate had bought a whole heap of fixings for a lovely breakfast and I couldn't eat that but time that in the morning. But that was early, early. Yeah, like she's offering me salmon at quarter past six. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Yes, but I couldn't eat it. So, But right. thank you and, and thank you must go to Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lisa Kudrow, <laughs> oh, uh, Henry Ford. Birthday. Are these people who share your birthday? Yes. Vivica A. Fox. Oh. Um, Tom Green, the very funny Tom Green from uh, Kill, not Kill Bill, uh, Freddie Got Fingered. Uh, <clears throat> Australian uh, famous actor from the ANZ uh, commercial, Simon <laughs> Baker. <laughs> yeah, And it goes on. All, heaps, so many people. You know what's funny? Hilary mm. Swank turns 40 today. Uh, we've got her 40th later on. The Swank evening. and Homer, yeah. The Swankster. Who, you guys all getting together. Yes. Yeah. Famously grew up in a car and then won a Best Actress Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> now. Yes. It's funny just looking through a list of on this days and who's, mm. you know, famous people's birthdays on this day. Yeah. I'm <clears throat> sure we've all heard Arnie. Yeah. We've heard of Arnie and uh, Hilary Swank yeah. and uh, Lisa Kudrow. Yeah. But it might be a sign of the times, a sign that you are getting older. Yeah. When you don't recognise 90% of the list. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like Jackie Thompson. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, it. Hilary this and, you know, Bobby, Tommy. Bibi They're Bibi all Bibi. in vampire movies and stuff. Of, of which I've never seen one. Is that so? Is that where it comes from? Because I go, where do these people come from? No. It's the same as watching the Logies and presenting the Logie <clears throat> is yeah. Sharon Macon. Yeah, but and who's you that? don't watch soaps. That's why, or right. reality TV that much. I mean, Australian reality TV. But does that you, mean you I used co- to watch a lot of do watch crud. The cooking shows? Well, you would have when known a at a certain era. Hmm. You would have known who the people in Home and Away and Neighbours were. Surely. Well, I think we all did. Didn't you know we? what I mean? Like, mm. there's an era where we all. But there were actually shows like Neighbours has been tucked away on Channel Eleven for ten years, hasn't it? Because yeah. they keep making it because it's worth money overseas. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's not worth anything. Well, what is he? I mean, people that I would consider uh, not crazy. Yeah. Still watch it. Yeah. You know, but yeah. I don't see the appeal. There is, was an article that I've only read a couple of paragraphs of and I've got it in my, you know, my bookmarks thing, which is just full of things Loaded, that I haven't yeah. read. Um, and it's about how TV's changing and how kids don't watch, they do not watch programming anymore. They watch, I mean, it's obvious, but they watch like Netflix and YouTube and whatever and how the model is changing and mm. in the States, Netflix and you know, people like that are starting to. There's, it's in in five years, it's going to be a whole different environment. And at the moment, they're laying the groundwork for that. They're kind of curating it. Anyway, it's kind of fascinating because right now we're about to witness what happens next. Uh, in television or just in? Well, television. It's funny. You know, television doesn't mean television anymore, does it? In TV, yeah, in kind of TV shows. Mm. But it's not even, sometimes it's not even TV shows. Like, you know, there, there's also this thing now where things get made from shows that are on the internet and stuff like that. Mm. But it's going to change the buying model. Like it's changing ec- the, ec- the the commercial side of it. But people are bo- making, say you say, internet TV, right, mm. or YouTube t- shows. Mm. But people are making it not to be so they can get on TV. They're making because they want to make it. They don't even want to be on TV now. Isn't that mm. the case? Like you can make enough money from having a successful YouTube series? Well, 
Yes, if you can. But it needs to be a successful YouTube series. Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise you do pay a lot of money to make something or you take a lot of time, which would cost you a lot of money if you weren't doing mm. it on the spell of an oily rag. You know what I mean? Like it does take a budget to do to make something. Yes. But it takes a whole lot less of a, of a budget than it would have five, ten years ago. Is that because of digital cameras? <laughs> <laughs> it's because of, yeah, all that stuff. Ah. And also the changing, <clears throat> like, aesthetic. Wow. Of TV, like you know, you can you, your TV in order to make something, uh, particularly I suppose if you're making a comedy or something, you don't have to make it. You can make it in a kind of DIY looking aesthetic if you mm. wanted to to make it, you know, to get away with making one that doesn't cost a million dollars. Don't like DIY. Don't don't you? No. Now we are five minutes fifty three <laughs> into this podcast. We already know one thing you don't like. Well, that's it. Whole. I'm with David Stratton here, the uh, pensioners' uh, fuddy, <laughs> and uh, he he used to really go off about handheld, shaky camera work. Yeah, he did. You know, but that was there wasn't. He would there mark wasn't it down a, a point. Absolute. Um, what would you call it? Like new wave of <laughs> shaky cameras. Yeah, and it's about annoying a, to watch. It about is annoying after, to watch. Was it? Blair Witch really spearheaded that, you'd have to say. Uh, you know, I watched, um, <coughs> what's that? Intelligent Hoodlum. No, what's it called? <laughs> Intelligent Hoodlum. No, um, no, 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 no. Um, smart. Oh, Paranormal acti- Activity? Intelligent Hoodlum. <laughs> <laughs> Intelligent hoodlum. That describes he's a you. Rapper. Uh, he's a rapper. <laughs> but oh no, was that wise intelligent? I don't know. But yeah. um, uh, and mm. I was watching this show called Paranormal Activity Two. Yeah. That was on the television just recently. Yeah. I happened to catch myself a couple of minutes on the couch. Yeah. And I've heard all about how scary. Yeah. These paranormal activities are. You've only reminded me because of Blair Witch Project. Yeah. Which did you find scary? I don't remember, so they're probably not. Right. Well, no, I, I don't think so. But then I'm not. There was the, a period you know, there the when nobody knew if it was real or not, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, that was cute. Mm. That was. I mean, look, they they they, they sold it, it brilliantly. Yeah, they found it at the bottom of a well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I quite the scariest thing for me in the world mm. ever in the universe Uh-oh. is somebody <laughs> being in a house they shouldn't be in, looking mm. through drawers. And you're like, they're going to come home. They're going to come home. They're going to come. That to me is like, that is the ultimate level of like. So. I've seen, you know, what's that film, the Australian one in the desert and the. Wolf Creek. Yeah. Fine. Somebody wolf, somebody going through drawers while there's someone else's home. I wouldn't mind testing this theory the on you. I'm going to like <laughs> we'll do two controlled experiments where in one mm-hmm. we have uh, you watching a screen with. Someone, actor A, yeah. rifling through drawers. And oh, you, it happens on Orphan Black all the time. And right. I'm like, get out of the house, get out of the house, get Draw out of the house. Draw rifling and yeah. see what they – and then number B. And then suddenly there's someone B, behind them. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm going to put you in a room with a guy with a leather mask on and yeah. a chainsaw yeah. and to see which how much scared you get. Does no. that make sense? How much How scared? much scared I get? <laughs> Uh, not really, but that's okay. I'm a bit um, dusty. You are a bit dusty. You've done a bit of the talking with the eyes closed this morning. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, I would, no, I just chat to the guy with the chainsaw. Oh, th- fine. yeah. That's how that's yeah. how Michael Myers <laughs> and uh, all of them. Jason Who no. Leaves, or his name was. I mean, look, I'm not saying I'm not scared. Leatherface. There's something sort of movie essence no, about. It's called Leatherface. There's something a bit movie essence where I can go. Face. Yeah, that's a movie. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if there's somebody in the house and there's, de- I just oh, 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 get out. Stop you it. So you know, you wouldn't make much of a cat burglar, would you? No, terrible. You'd be the most nervous cat burglar. <laughs> terrible. I've never understood cat burglar. I was thinking that exact thought the other day. What's is the it cat because for? they're like a cat? Like they prowl up the side of a building, uh, they maybe. slink into a window. They're very. They're not like um, Trevor and, and Neil. You. Um, Bumbling boobs. The ones that, that we made up kick, the other yeah, week. Yeah, and kick yeah, in yeah, the yeah. door and smash everything yeah. and turn it all upside down. And uh, yeah. a cat burger, I think, has to have like a jazz band following him down <laughs> yeah, the alleyway. Yeah, yeah. And d- be able just to, an upright bass player. And be least. able to add, uh, jump lightly from a second floor window and land on his feet with no noise. Yeah, like exactly. A cat. Like a cat. And exactly. So, and then they actually just go into a drawer. And pull out the diamond necklace, slide it into their little pouch. See, it's making me, my blood pressure go up just hearing it. Anyone inside a house. In, while the people are sleeping. I oh, can't do it. And away the cat burger would go. Whereas, see, 
The cat burglar doesn't go around and smash your stuff. He's sort of quite a classy, classy type of burglar. Is that right? Well, thank you for the um, completely invented history of the cat burglar this I morning, think you might Stu. find I'm dead right. <laughs> I think you might find you are for a change. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the throaty edition. <laughs> um, hey, what's They're in monks, my phone? Right? Pardon? They're monks. Throaties? What are you talking about? <laughs> Throat singers. Oh. <clears throat> you have a funny mind. Um, so, huh? I just thought I would say that in my phone there are lots of messages from people, Stu. Uh, saying, yes. uh, happy day, that's not your birthday, you big... That's in my phone. No. Thank you very much was my point to the listeners who've been getting in touch and saying happy birthday to Stu and oh. ruining his campaign to not mention his birthday on his birthday. Could you stop saying that word? Happy birthday. So, uh, we've got to get out of here. I know it's quick, but it's Today it was quick and it's mm. not fair to the listeners, but we just don't care. <laughs> no, we do. <laughs> no, well, you had to knock back salmon this morning and say... And blueberry pancakes. Uh, so, you know. And a, scrambled eggs and bagels. A, it's been a big morning. And God, she's a good woman. Well, <sighs> good grief, you're a lucky man. Um, well. So, you've been listening to Stupidly Big, uh, the Stupidly Big Media Empire's Stupidly Small podcast. Yes. And um, you can find us at Stupidly Big. You can contact us on Facebook, on Twitter, on our website, and you can leave voicemails for us, which we adore. There is one up our Why sleeve. haven't you listened or played that other one? I don't know why this is turning into me not doing something. Um, P.O. Box 1436 Fitzroy North 3068. You actually did go to the mailbox yesterday. Thank you to those who've been in touch. Yes. We've got some lovely posts. I've got such a fine postcard collection these We days. have a wall that's almost turned into a soundproof, like a soundbouncer. I know. Sound it's, it's actually soundproof in this room yeah. even better, isn't it? Every, yeah. every day. With all your lovely correspondence. We haven't heard from our junior bureau chief we haven't. for a while because... Because nobody writes back to her. Because, because you haven't written back. We talk to her instead. Over the airwaves like this. Hi, Hi Anna. There you go. Uh, thanks to all the bureau chiefs for all their hard work. And Stuart, oh. have a wonderful day. Thanks. I insist. Well, I just got a lovely message, which means I can finish work early. So that's the best birthday present anyone can give you. See how good is life. Sometimes it gives it's you apples. Sometimes it gives you apple cake. Good. Well, I hope it's up that apple cakey kind of day. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, go on. For the hangover. Oh. The after effect. Yep. God, that'll be fun. Look forward to stink. it. Oh. <laughs> Have a good one, buddy. See ya. Bye.